Hey there YouTube, thanks for stopping by the channel, thanks for clicking play today. Today we've got a great video for you. Today we're going to be installing carbon fiber trim pieces for the door boomerang that we've picked up from ExtremeOnlineStore.com. Now previously I installed carbon fiber side skirts to this car that I also got from ExtremeOnlineStore.com and I was really so impressed with them that I went ahead and picked up the boomerang pieces as well and we're going to get those installed today. I love the contrast of the carbon fiber against this carbon flash paint. It is absolutely much better than I thought it was going to be and I'm really impressed with it. So we got these pieces going. We're going to get that install going here in a second but if you haven't already guys please like, share and subscribe. Hit that notification button. Helps us grow the channel and helps us bring you more content like this so we can both enjoy this journey together. Thanks so much guys. Let's get into the install. Okay, unboxing. I will say they package very nicely. Now that I have already opened and installed the passenger side, I'm going to be doing the driver's side for today for the video. But they had it tight taped very nicely. The other side, everything in here, it was wrapped really securely. And then the three sided tape, they have one for each side, but packaged extremely well. Um, they have the package marked fragile. But um, honestly, with the way it was packaged, everything arrived uh, beautifully packaged and there was no damage to anything. Either these carbon fiber panels are pretty thin uh, because they're actually overlays. So um, with that, they packaged them well so they don't have any damage in route. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and open these up and show you what panels we have here. And then you'll see... The different parts to the boomerang as we open this up so as you can see these are very very nice pieces they actually do have quality carbon fiber there um, i have a couple of pieces already but this will match nicely i like it we're going to go over and just kind of test fit it on the car and show you how it looks and then now uh, we'll clean the panels and then we will um, get it installed Okay, so I have two of the panels here. I'll just show you how they kind of, they will actually literally sit over. Like that. With the 3M tape. And man, does that look good. Um, I tell you, it looks really good on the passenger side. And I can't wait to get it out into the um, sun. So you can see how that carbon fiber looks against the carbon flash paint. It is a really, really nice contrast. Okay, before I put the carbon fiber pieces on, I want to kind of give you a before and after here. So looking at this out, we have a beautiful day today to catch the sun, but you can see the carbon flash panels there. All right, and that's kind of my only, I love this paint color. It's, it's one of my favorite paint colors ever, but it's kind of one of my negatives is that the body panel accents like the boomerang and things kind of blend in because they are... Um, the carbon flash and not any other contrasting material like brandon's rapid blue with the carbon flash looks absolutely amazing but looking here at the difference the contrast between the carbon flash and the carbon fiber with the carbon fiber side skirts this contrast looks absolutely awesome uh, i really love it i think this is a nice touch they're actually just the 3m two-sided tape stick on so Easy on, easy off. I saw some for the C8 that you had actually had to take the door panels off and some other things. And while those may be a more durable, permanent solution, uh, I wasn't all about that. So I'm really liking this uh, contrast here. This is this is a great look. All right. So before you go to sticking anything on here, you want to make sure it's clean. Now we did give the car a great bath yesterday, um, so it's nice and clean. It's detailed up. But I was going to go ahead. I have the Adams Polishes Surface Prep. Uh, it's just a uh, 99% um, uh, isopropyl alcohol. Just go ahead and clean this uh, where we're going to be sticking it so we have a nice clean surface to adhere to so the 3M tape sticks to it. And that way there's no grime or dirt underneath it that's going to rub against this. Now, of note, this has already been PPF'd. So I'm actually going to be adhering the uh, 3M two-sided tape to the PPF, which is, again, in my opinion, good thing. It won't actually rub if there's anything in between left over. And then um, also, too, when it goes to come off, uh, it won't affect the paint or anything because if there's anything that would adhere to or stick to or be gummed up, it would be the PPF. So bonus points there. And just a light coating. Wipe it clean. 
That way we're good and ready to go. Okay, so as you can see here, I have begun applying the 3M two-sided adhesive tape. Basically, I'm just cutting along and running it along the inner edge here, trying to keep it off that lip where it bends in and stretching it a little as I go. Give it a little more reach. Give it some bend there. And then we'll make sure I get all the edges covered. Actually, I'm going to put a piece in here too because on that outer lip there, I'm going to want it to push back against the that area of the frame on there that it'll hold on to. I don't want a gap here, so I want to push that in and have that secured. Um, but uh, it's really kind of all there is to this. We've done a good prep, so we shouldn't have any issues with this adhering. All right. So that would be the, the first piece done there. And then we'll get to taking off the adhesive backer. And we'll get them put on the car. Okay, just for the time's sake for the video, I went ahead and started the, the corners here for the two-sided tape. Just wanted you guys to see how I had taped this. To try to get maximum coverage now you can like some of these pieces you can see i stretched them and kind of shaped them around it is pretty malleable so you can shape it and move it around um and then get them all off and then like i said i wanted a piece here so i could push it in against back in against so all right let's take it over and get the first piece on the car okay the first piece i have is the actual back of the boomerang here and I recommend opening the door for this for giving you the most room. And then I would start at this end here and get it pushed in against the inside here as tight as you can get it. And then push your stuff down there. Because once you get it on there, it's going to be stuck for good. Or at least semi-good. <laughs> but that's all. That's all there is to it. And then I'll get the other piece. And we'll get the other two on, and we'll get it on the sun. All right, same thing with this one. You want to get it lined up and kind of tuck it under the lip here. And that's the best way I can say to do it, is get this under lip kind of tucked up under and then push this back in. And that way it lines up nice and you keep your nice gap there on the car and i'm gonna like this last piece to go give me just one second okay when i test fit this last piece already it fits pretty tight uh here at the bottom of part of the boomerang and i've just put um the 3m tape in here and just kind of sp split it and kind of pull it apart a little bit And there we go. That is a good look. Now there is one piece that, let me see if I can get a, my cell phone light here. Down there in, you'll be able to see in here, I'll show you. And I, I kind of kicked around whether or not to place that piece originally or not. But uh, since it was included in the kit, I went ahead and was like, heck with it. I'll put it on there. More carbon fiber is better than none. And even though you can't see back in, you do see that bottom part right here. And that's where I'm going to go ahead and put the piece on that's included with the kit. All right. And putting this last piece in here, you can see there's a little notch here. 
there's actually a notch at the back of this piece that this lines up perfectly with. So if you go and you put it and you line it up with that notch, and it'll sit right over top of your factory piece and right where it should be in that notch. That's it. <laughs> Well, there you have it, YouTube. Nice, easy install. Give your car a nice pop of some carbon flash on the outside there. It actually took me longer to peel the backing off the two-sided tape than it did to install these pieces. I will recommend, though, to test fit these before you put anything on. Make sure you understand, how, especially this piece here, how it tucks up underneath this part here so you can make sure you can tuck it up under because once you have that two sided tape on there you don't want to be trying to pull that on and off you don't want to get that uh, stuck on there but test fit your pieces clean it really well before you go to do it and then once you have it uh, you know take your time to make sure you apply all the two sided tape as much around to the edges without coming out as you can and then apply it and it sticks right on you know I, I really love the look of this carbon fiber here uh, especially on my car like I've said before the beef I had is the carbon flash paint with the carbon flash trim pieces and it didn't really make them pop but with this carbon fiber it really makes them pop you can see here in the sun i mean with the side skirts that i've previously done we got those from extreme online store as well and then here with the uh, carbon fiber boomerang um the accents are extremely extremely nice they're subtle but as you get closer to the car they're very very noticeable i will say too as i go ahead in the future i put a carbon fiber front splitter and then maybe a carbon fiber z07 style wing um, this is going to be even more of a contrast, but right now I really, really, really like this contrast. This high quality carbon fiber from Extreme Online Store, you can't go wrong with their products. We've done the side skirts, we've done the carbon fiber boomerang here. You know, go ahead, check them up, ExtremeOnlineStore.com. See what you can find for your C8, whether it be a Stingray, an E-Ray Now, or a Z06. Thanks for stopping by, guys. Like, share, and subscribe. Help us grow this channel and get yourself some carbon fiber.